is the first concept guys where you actually relate two variables right relationship between two variables is identified using correlation and uh, a correlation is what it is just measuring the strength of linear relationship between two variables right it's a normalized version of covariance you don't need to bother too much about covariance as i said right because mostly correlation is what you use when you actually try to establish relationship between variables correlation is basically covariance divided by standard deviations of the two variables now correlation is a number that falls between minus 1 to plus 1 guys minus 1 to plus 1 means that if the two variables are positively correlated then the correlation number will be between 0 and plus 1 when i say positively correlated what do i mean that an increase in one variable also has a similar direction increase in the other variable right and basically the two variables moves in the same direction together or you can say direct proportionality if you understand that positive correlation means direct proportionality right negative correlation means inverse proportional proportionality inversely proportional everyone understands direct and inverse proportional yes or no your weight is directly proportional to your height yes or no in general in the world is the weight directly proportional to height shweta it is it is directly proportional to the height as a rule of thumb the more the height the more the weight as your height increases your weight increases right that's directly proportional so what can i say no they are not dependent but they are related so if i take 1000 people and i take their height and then their weight and if i plot their height versus weight will i be able to see that in general with the increase in height the weight also increased for people that's what is positive correlation and the negative correlation is what what is the negative correlation it could be between uh it could be between the weight and running running speed or yes uh, sanjeev is saying age and strength yes it could be like that i would i think it the better one would be your weight and the running speed of adults right heavier you are slower you run again it's in general right that is negative correlation let's quickly look at this so positive correlation when the value of one variable increases with respect to other negative is when one decreases with respect to another no correlation is also there when there is no linear dependence or relation between the two variables right correlation is dependence between the two variables and parimal by the way height and weight are dependent till a point of course 
not for like one person i'm saying in general a person whose height is more is likely to weigh more of again in the sample i'm talking about right if i put a if i bring a large enough sample i'll see that that will hold true so this is positive correlation guys you know on scatter plot that okay one variable is increasing on the x axis other also increasing on the y axis so the closer the higher the number of correlation like on the positive side if the number is higher then it's like a strong positive correlation if on the negative side the number is higher then it's a strong negative correlation so this graph represents a strong positive correlation of 0.996 whereas this other graph represents a strong negative correlation of minus 0.996 because one increasing and other is decreasing because of that and what about this guys what kind of correlation is here in this particular visual come on respond quickly i think our time is already getting up guys which kind of correlation do you see there on this visual perfect so there's here there is no correlation parimal it's no correlation and as a rule of thumb guys whenever your correlation coefficient number is between minus 3 to plus 3 plus 0.3 right minus 0.3 to plus 0.3 it's assumed in general in practical data science projects to be no correlation or very weak correlation between minus 3 to Minus point three to plus point three, point three to point six, and minus point three to minus point six, that is considered to be mild correlation. And everything above point six on both positive and negative side is considered to be strong correlation. Sometimes it is also considered above point seven, depending upon what kind of problem and variables you have and what are the relative numbers of correlation, right? so in for this case for example the number is 0.02 so you know that okay this is between that range so this is there is no correlation and so sorry that it's been mentioned incorrect there all right then hypothesis testing again guys this is something that i would want you guys to look into at your end some of the key terms i have given here eda inferential statistics descriptive statistics feature engineering modeling train and test data set overfitting and underfitting these terms are specially put up here as a home exercise for you guys to read up about each one of these terms and come up with any question related to whatever you find out on these terms right then of course the hypothesis testing this last component is again a home reading exercise for you guys you should carry on this entire practice this session from here onwards and now i am going to quickly show you some of the quick stuff that you can do in excel right so like when i want to do eda let's say we were just talking about eda right you can go into this data analysis tab here on the right side guys under the data tab there's this data analysis and if you see there's there are all of these options available for you guys so there is anova single factor two factor anova two factor correlation covariance descriptive statistics exponential smoothing f test for variance fourier analysis histogram moving average random number generation rank and percentile regression sampling t test all of this stuff you can do right here in excel itself now you understand what i meant when i said that you don't even need python to do any basic data science stuff unless you really want to go deep into machine learning you can do a lot of basic stuff here itself the same way you can use pivot tables and you know try to do decision trees there uh directly without any statistical uh, heavy uh, like without any coding or any without any kind of additional tool requirement the point that i am trying to make is that you have to first understand and explore excel because you know here 
it's it's very easy first of all you don't need to bother about coding and all and if you're talking only about conceptual point of view so then it's 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 a really good way to learn all of these things right and then you can learn how to execute those in python but let's say i'm doing this descriptive statistics here right and the input range is i'm taking the entire data here and on this entire data i am saying labels are there in the first row and i want descriptive this entire data and let's see what does it going to give me so just that one thing i have run and on every variable in my data it has given me what mean standard error median mode standard deviation sample variance curtises skewness range minimum maximum sum and count for each of the variables do you think that right away looking at these numbers here you can draw out some insights for example this here on the marketing expense when you right away when you start looking at these numbers right the mean marketing expense the median the mode similarly mean median you can make a lot of inference here right just looking at this how exactly the numbers are and then you know the minimum and maximum here you know the range of those values curtises and skewness we don't don't cover in this um introductory session but you can read up about those as well the point is that just one option and you get the entire as they say entire uh, uh post mortem of your data ha happens at one go right similarly you could do correlation analysis as well you saw that correlation function there right so i take all of this data and if i do the same thing from data analysis and do correlation here let's look at what i am going to get and correlation by the way is only between numerical variables guys so let's select these first 5 6 okay let's take all the numerical variables here and run the correlation on the entire data set right and i will say labels are there in the first row and i run the analysis so this is the correlation matrix and you can read this matrix it has correlation of every variable with every other variable it's more like those uh play of games in sports right where every team will play against every other team so this is like correlation analysis where every variable has been correlated against every other variable and then i'll just select a color scaling here and give color coding to these numbers do you know the insight here right away after looking at this correlation matrix do you know what you can say how much of value can you add just with this basic thing anyone wants to take a shot at it this is the last 5 minutes of the session guys after this i'm going to wrap up the session and you guys are going to uh explore some of these functionalities at your end as well okay what is the insight right away like if you are doing a project live project let's say i am saying that i want to do a movie and i really want to make sure uh, i've i've done the movie and i have we've launched uh we've done some work and you know we we the the trailer launch and all of that we are going to do or we are producing a movie right we're just wrapping up a movie or we're signing up people for a new movie and i'm saying that i want to ensure that i get really good collection what insight can you give me just looking at this correlation number there's no modeling even at this stage right just eda correlation number what what you can understand from here you know how to read this right every variable like wherever the two points intersect that is the correlation number between those two variables for example production expense and marketing expense has a correlation coefficient of 0.4 similarly you can find out all the other ones 
For example, collection and movie length has a correlation of minus 0.377. So the most important aspect, guys, that I can work from here, work out from here, is the fact that right away, what I could do is I could say that collection is influenced the most by which variable? Really quick, guys. What is the number one factor that affects collection for a movie? Uh, trailer views. Does it make sense to you also intuitively? Trailer views. It's a really good factor, right? It's, it's a really great insight. We would not have come up with this at our end right away, but this just the simple thing right away has brought this fact that the number of trailer views has a really strong impact on what the collection will be because after looking at trailer is when the first conviction about whether I want to watch the movie or not comes, right? And then probably the second thing is the recommendation from people. But trailer view is a strong component, isn't it? So if I am consulting a producer, what I'm gonna recommend to them is that, hey, movie is one thing, you do, you create a great movie and all that, but the trailer really needs to be rock solid and you want to really focus on that. You really want to make sure that the trailer goes viral, isn't it? So, so this is a very basic uh, example, right? It's like movie data, data set we've brought out, but can you imagine what amount of insights can you uncover from here? Like if they're saying that, okay, I, if, if your director is saying that I want the best lead actor and compromising on the shooting locations or cinematography or uh, maybe even uh, uh, multiplex coverage or production expense, you can directly tell them that, hey boss, the lead actor rating, if you look at this data from 600 movies, lead actor rating is not even a great correlation. correlation. It doesn't matter that much. There's not a direct relation like that, right? And that, that is true. That is true in today's cinema, that it's not completely driven by lead actors, right? There are fresh actors, fresh faces who are coming in and they are doing amazing collections for their movies. So there's a lot of insight fundamentally that can come out just of this basic correlation analysis. And then of course, there's a lot of stuff that you can try here in the data section in data analysis tab on the right side. All of this you should try and explore. And